This little golden book is called The Happy Little Whale, and it's in rhymes. Once upon a time, there was a little whale, nine feet long from her nose to her tail. She lived far out in the deep blue sea, which for whales is a very fine place to be. She and her playmates, as a rule, traveled with a group of whales called a school. Those little whales had lessons to learn. They swam and they dove and they surfaced in turn. They blew great fountains of watery spray and talked in squeaks in a whalish way. They even learned to stand on their tails, which is a special trick for whales. One day, as the whole school swam along, they saw a strange something which didn't belong. It was a boat, not just out for a sail, but manned with fishermen looking for whale. It didn't look fearsome, so our little whale stood on her tail as close to the boat as she could. Just then from the boat, a net shot out and it covered our little whale round about. <clears throat> she swam this way and that. She dove deep down. She jumped toward the sky and rolled all around. She sighed and she snorted and she blew a jet, but she couldn't get free of that tangling net. The rest of the whales all tried to help. They swam through beds of weedy kelp. They swam through stretches of open sea, but they could not set that small whale free. <clears throat> All through the night, our little whale fought that net that held her like a jail. By morning, she was tired out, fore and aft. And just then under her, there slipped a rubber mat. The raft stretched under the weary little whale like a billowy bed from her head to her tail. When the raft started moving in toward the shore, the other whales couldn't follow anymore. So they turned and swam out to sea, and the little whale felt as lonely as could be. She was falling off to sleep when in a flash, she was lifted up high and then landed with a splash in the good salty water of a big round pool. She swam around looking for her playmates and the school, but she couldn't find anyone. Oh, me, that poor little whale was as lonely as could be. Then down through the water floated tasty smelling squid, which is delicious if you like squid that our little whale just wouldn't eat her favorite dish. Then into the pool flipped a strange black fish and he swam right up to that little whale when she opened her mouth, which was bigger than a pail. In went a mouthful of tasty squid. Little whale swallowed the squid quick, quick. She felt much better but she wanted some more, so she opened her mouth as she had before and in went another mouthful of fish. She gulped it right down as fast as you could wish. And she felt so fine when the meal was done that she blew a whole fountain of spray just for fun. Well, that strange black fish kept bringing her squid and he taught that little whale tricks. Yes, he did. He taught her to shake flippers when they'd meet and to jump right out of the water for a treat. He taught her to wear a fancy hat and to jump through a hoop and things like that. One day, little whale heard noises and shouts. She wondered what all the excitement was about. Soon they lifted her up with a great big crane and set her down again without any strain in a great big tank where she could swim around and roll and splash and dive deep down. And what should appear there before her eyes but a little whale playmate, just her size. Now those little whales are as happy in the pool as they once had been in the deep sea school. They swim and they roll and they blow spray when they wish and they do all their tricks for treats 
of, a, of fish. They wear fancy hats and shake flippers with their friends, and they jump for fish when the show ends. They sometimes stand right up on their tails and squeak for joy, those two happy little whales. The end. I'm glad that those whales are happy, but just recently, uh, us and our grandkids and great-grandkids all went to the Oregon coast, and we got to go to a lighthouse and look down, clear down in the ocean where we could see a mother with mother whale with its baby. We also saw a whole school of whales that were spouting their sprays and moving along and showing their tails out in front of our beach house. And even though I love to go and see whales in zoos and things like and aquariums, I'm still glad when I can see them in the wild with their family. Thank you for listening.